Taurus, hi. I just want to send a shout out to my subscribers. I want to say thank you to anybody who has reached out, showed any concern in my absence. I am okay. Um, I had a little two week hiatus. It's really just that some weeks are more demanding than others. And unfortunately, I just can't do these readings every week. Um, I try to because I really love them. Um, and so I'm so happy to be back. I want to say thank you again. Now to my unsubscribers, if it's your first time here, well, welcome. I am Tina, your host, and I do weekly tarot readings. This one is for July 19th to the 25th. Um, they are general readings, general energies, and we're going to jump right into it. I take a look at the recent past, current situation, and the near future. All right, Taurus, let's see what's happening for you. We're going to stop it here. I'm going to take those two. Recent past. Ten of Wands, Current Situation, Four of Cups. We got the Moon at the bottom too. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. There is an opportunity here. Maybe we see it. Page of Swords is here as well. The Moon is here. So it could just feel like things are uncertain right now. And maybe that's why things are feeling heavy in the recent past. Ten of Wands is just like, you could just have had like really... A lot of responsibilities, a lot on your plate, a lot, or something just weighed heavy on you, right? And it just wasn't feeling fun, was not feeling fun, right? Current situation, you have the Four of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So we're trying to stay open, trying to stay open here, maybe in particular when it comes to relationships here. But there is a dissatisfaction right now with what is in front of you, um, especially it feels like when it comes to relationships. Keep in mind, relationships aren't all romantic, you know, they could be business as well, but these are matters of the heart with the cups, right? And so, and the cups are here. Four of cups is just like a dissatisfaction with what's in front of you right now. Uh, maybe you have an opportunity that presented itself and you're making space for it. And I do feel like you're making space, right? Um, you've almost pulled yourself away for a moment and just kind of sitting, sitting with things and making some space here. Page of cups is like keeping an open heart trying very much to remain open um you have the page of cups you have the page of swords so these can be people as well right young water sign young air sign here um but energetically this is about really keeping an open heart kind of keeping that young energy like you know when we were kids right yeah we were innocent that is true um a sense of naiveness of course but it's also a sense of wonder and also just again a sense of trust in the world and in people so i feel like you're trying to still keep an open heart even though you're kind of pretty dissatisfied right now with some situation in front of you or multiple ace of pentacles is here you could get an opportunity this week um no doubt if you don't get like let's say a job offer but for some of you it's just a job offer which is actually really nice this is an opportunity um look you know your two cards with the current situation there is a hand from the clouds trying to come in, but this character doesn't kind of see it. And then there is a hand from the clouds that's way more obvious. So I do feel there are opportunities around you. I want to say that. In the near future, you get the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords, and a Temperance, right? The Eight of Cups is under the Four of Cups. So it's just this overwhelming theme of just like, not happy anymore with the current situation, right? Like you could have outgrown it for some of you. And honestly, it's probably been ongoing for some time with the Eight of Cups. So this wasn't a quick decision, right? This is something that you probably didn't want to walk away from. You tried to stay, uh, but at this point, you're just not happy. It's not serving you, right? Or something's kind of feeling like it's missing. Um, but in general, dissatisfied and unhappy. And it's to the point with that Eight of Cups where I feel like it just, it has to be addressed, right? Like it's time to make that decision to leave something behind that you've invested a lot into that you probably thought you wouldn't leave behind. Um, and, and that's what it is, you know? I always remind people though the Eight of Cups doesn't mean we're burning bridges or anything. Um, it can, and sometimes light it on fire. Um, it doesn't feel like that here though. Under the Page of Cups is the Page of Swords. So this is more about keeping an open heart and an open mind, right? Um, basically, just be open. There's still things to discover, still things to see, still things to learn, right? Let the universe surprise us. 
Then you got temperance here under the Ace of Pentacles. Um, can be a Sagittarius. Can definitely be a Sagittarius here. But I feel like, you know, in the near future, whatever this new thing is, if it's a job offer, this is about you kind of being patient, right? Having a deeper understanding. When I say being patient, it's being patient in your approach. Having a deeper understanding of a situation because you have grown, right? And that's why you're patient. Temperance teaches us uh, moderation. So don't go into any extremes. It's not the time for it. It's about like slowly, but you know, surely try this, but try a little bit of it. Don't try like, you know, if you were making a recipe, throw in a teaspoon of sugar, not a cup. It's kind of like that and then taste it and then keep adjusting, right? And that's what temperance teaches us is how to do that with situations. Um, and so, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles, if it is a job opportunity, this is you putting your foot in the water and like saying, hey, well, how does this water feel, right? Just like temperance. One foot in, one foot out, literally. So let us, maybe it's a Sag, quite simply, that brings about or offers you this opportunity. Sometimes the cards are that simple. All right, let us go in and clarify Taurus for July 19th to the 25th for my beautiful bulls. BB. All right, clarify for Taurus. All right, let's stop here. Ten of Cups is at the bottom. The Hierophant in the recent past. Yeah, something here is just not working. Uh, it's a sadness attached to it. But don't worry. You know, you gotta, when things don't work out, it's just, it's not easy, especially when it's something so close to your heart. Something so close to your heart here, Taurus. Um, recent past you got the hierophant with the ten of wands maybe you're dealing with another taurus right either way this is a sense of belonging right the hierophant is the card of marriage but it's a card of our relationships it's a card of where we belong right almost like in a sense of like to our identity but where do you belong and where's your voice amongst those with where you belong right that's the hierophant it teaches us to find our own voice even if we work for a corporation, even if we're part of a culture, right? Even if there is a marriage. Um, and so it's really interesting. But either way, I think there is something here that's so close to your heart that just has been weighing heavy on your heart. Heavy on your heart. I feel like that's what I might even title your video. Even though I don't think that will attract many people to click it, to be honest. Um, but I prefer the truth. All right, in the, in the current situation, clarifying your cards is the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Lovers. Obviously, you got the Two of Wands, you got the Lovers, you got the Eight of Cups. There's a fork in the road when it comes to this relationship. There is a relationship here that is undergoing a test. Things are, it almost feels like they're falling apart for some of you. Um, you got the Five of Cups, you got the Four of Cups, right? Literally, I said, you don't like what's in front of you. You got this character looking at the three cups in front of him, arms crossed, right? He's not like embracing them, right? It's the opposite. And then you got three cups down here and then three cups spilt over. So something is just sad here. And again, it's like, it's difficult to accept for some of you. Um, but let's not forget there's still two good cups. There's still things working in your favor. It just might not feel so easy to see them at this time. And there is an ace of pentacles here. Like I said, it, there, there's blessings around you. In this case, blessings in disguise, but they are around you. You got the two of wands and the page of cups. You're staying open, right? You're you're like thinking about where do you want to go? I think you're, you're definitely thinking about whatever this change is, it's definitely uncomfortable and it definitely brings you out of your comfort zone. But I feel some of you are ready for it um, deep down, right? I think you're ready to get out of this heaviness and just even if it's uncomfortable to go in the unknown, I think you're kind of ready for it. And then clarifying the Ace of Pentacles is the lovers, guys. So obviously we have a crossroads here. You know, the lovers is about um, making an important decision one that will put you on a different road. Um, it's usually, there's a lot of love here. Let me say that, there's a lot of love here. And I think that's why it hurts a lot. Because you can feel it, especially all the way here on my left side, there's a lot of heaviness. Um, and then strength is in the middle. So there, anyway, <clears throat> the lover says, 
deep down, if you're listening to your higher self, if you're listening to your intuition, follow your heart. Like you know what the right decision is, no matter how scary it is. I mean, and you're weighing your options. You can see the benefits and the downside of both decisions, right? If you take this route or if you take that road. But this relationship here has reached a fork in the road. It doesn't mean that you separate, not at all. It just, and for some of you, it does, of course. Um, but either way, you're at this place where things will not be the same. And the lover says, just follow your heart. Be guided by your intuition. Be guided by your higher self. Um, all right, in the near future, you're clarifying cards of the Three of Swords, Strength, and then we end it with the Eight of Wands. So I love that. You end it actually quite nice. Um, three of Swords is clarifying this Eight of Cups. This is all under the Five of Cups, Four of Cups, all these cups, right? All these cups, and these are, the, these are kind of like... Um, these are all the heavy hitter cup cards, right? The ones that show heavier emotions. Um, three of Swords with the Eight of Cups, it hurts. This is heartbreak. Maybe you're walking away from heartbreak and you're like, I'm not dealing with that heartbreak anymore. I'm not dealing with letdowns anymore. I'm not dealing with fears or insecurities. And then the others of you, no matter what, it hurts. It hurts either way, right? Like there's something here that hurts, but you can't live in it and it needs, we got to pull those swords out. And part of that could just be walking away here, right? Walking away. Three cups have spilt over three swords in the heart right so this can be multiple relationships here multiple letdowns um then you've got strength here clarifying the page of swords so um you know it's 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 about having resilience it's about bouncing back it's about being gentle with yourself as well as with others that's strength um so this is a time to just you know be strong be compassionate and be gentle, you know? You show your strength through the gentleness of your soul, right? What do they say? Real strength is gentle and real gentleness is strength. Um, and and it's, it, you have it, but you're going to need it, right? Because again, this was so much love here, so it's not easy, right? It's not easy to say, I can't believe that that's ending. I can't believe that this didn't work out. And you do bounce back. You no doubt bounce back. And then after some heaviness, clarifying temperance is the eight of wands. I think you're really gonna come out of this with fresher eyes, with a deeper understanding. If you came from extreme energies, you are definitely appreciating more moderation with temperance. You're also more patient, right? Um, it's just, you know, it's really nice. And then the eight of wands says, if, it's, if you need to communicate, this is a great time to communicate. It is a great time. It's under the lovers. It's under the ace of pentacles. Temperance is here. So really beautiful, really supportive energy. It just says, you know, follow your intuition, follow your heart with the lovers, and you won't be led astray, right? That's, that's kind of what the tarot tries to tell you with this spread. Just follow your heart. All right, I am going to leave it there for you, Taurus. Um, let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. But as always, thank you, and um, I'll see you all next week.